What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Break It Down, the show where we're always speaking with some amazing human beings like my man, Core of EMS. Core, what's happening? Hey, yo. How you doing, brother? Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. I see the uh, the old curriculum album in the background. I love it. I love it. Yes. For those uh, that don't know <laughs> Core, uh, let's see, rapper, producer, uh, writer, the chorus king. Uh, you come up with a lot of the hooks for EMS. Uh, I do. And uh, just one of the most fun human beings to be around. So, formally, formally, or I shouldn't say formally because that's in the past, right? Currently, entrepreneur now, doing businesses, coffee shop, architecture company. Yes, sir. I'm trying to be uh, recession proof. There you go. I love it. Nothing uh, better than working for yourself. Uh, very rewarding. So, goddamn right. Awesome. Well, uh, for some of our listeners, since the last time we talked uh, months ago, you were on the core tour in Colorado. <laughs> uh, yeah, tell, that's uh, true. Was... Tell our listeners what you've been working on. What, what do you What do you got cooking? Oh, after Colorado was Las Vegas. After Las Vegas was Guatemala for a month. Guatemala came back and I've been staying here actually this is the longest I've been home uh, my neighbors have been joking about it they're like wow Kev you know you've been you've been uh, you've been home for a while I'm, I'm a little concerned I'm like me too <laughs> me too <laughs> mm. but yeah um as far as music goes I went through a hiatus man like you said like when we when we talked I was writing uh I was making beats not a lot but I was um, I was focusing more on my, my business just, just to get it going. Uh, it's great now. It's almost too great to the point where I need to tell people to go away, but uh, that's a good problem to have. I wouldn't call it a problem. It's like, yeah, yeah, we can call it that. But yeah, so um, I, I, I told myself, I'm like, I got to find a day dedicated strictly to my passion, which is music. I love music. It makes me feel good. It calms me down. Um, so I chose Tuesday and I'm going to say it out loud and people might steal it. I don't care. Cause it's, it's, it's beautiful. I call it tunes day, T U N E S day, tunes day. I love it. So, uh, yeah, man, I've been doing music on Tuesdays now and I'm finally getting back into the rhythm. So all those projects that I wanted to release is starting to come alive. It's great. We got a lot of good stuff coming out, including the track that we're going to be talking about today. Excellent. Well, you can't force uh art uh at least if you want it uh done right so uh, right. Anyone, i agree with that anyone that knows any of our members of vms uh time is spent uh producing engineering recording writing videos everything else so uh to get it to that level and caliber uh you certainly need to put your time in and you can't force it or rush it so uh you got to do you core right I'm right, man. You have to, um, you know, you have to step back sometimes and really take a look at what you're doing. You got to be like, this is what I really want to do. Um, as far as art goes, the same thing, you know, is this like the direction I'm heading in? Uh, what do I want to do as far as my sound? It's like, you got to be true to yourself. I, I always tell everybody everything, be true to yourself because, um, you know, this is um, your expressions and, you know, everyone's going to have an opinion, whether it's negative or positive, but just don't, be afraid of the negativity. It's always going to be there. Just be true to yourself and be happy with the product that you put out. And at the end of the day, you're going to be ha the happiest because you're not, you know, you're not trying to be, you're not trying to be who they think you are. You're being who you are. You know what I mean? Cause we do that a lot. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm not who I think I am. You're not who I think you are. I am who you think I think I should be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. Like, so it's, it's good to, it's good to be yourself without worrying if your expectations are living up to who you want your expectations to live up to, if that makes any sense. It does, yes. Well, I'm uh, excited for today's episode. I wanna get into Five Star, um, so let's break it down. You actually played this track for me when you were down here in Orlando at, uh, maybe it wasn't a Five Star Hotel, but uh break it break it down for us car uh cool. oh break yeah yeah down. okay yeah all right great yeah so the first time you heard five star yeah i was in orlando man we, we made the trip i was down there uh we got to florida i rented you know like just a normal compact car but uh, i was finessing myself at the bar 
at the car bar and uh the guy was like you know i'm like yeah you seem like a cool guy you know and we were talking about birthdays he's like oh my birthday's august 15th i'm like my birthday's august 15th oh i knew where this was going he hooked me up with a beautiful mustang uh we didn't get to drive it because uh the girl had it but she was out doing business and we were doing business we were talking about what's going on so yeah man that was the first time you heard five star nice so five star uh fully uh produced it um I wrote everything. I mixed it myself and I just started mastering by myself. Um, you know, I started working with um, different kinds of programs. I've had other people master some of my stuff, but it's kind of nice to have full control of what you want it to sound like. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, sure. you know, you hear some songs in the radio and you're like, oh, that sounds really good. And then you get other ones and they all different because everybody is mastering different ways and people like different frequencies. So it's good to finally have an idea of how to do it. And it's, it's really nice to have control of how I can do it. So uh, I know a lot of artists, they struggle with trying to get that sound they want. And then at the end of the day, like weeks later when they hear it, they're like, God, I wish I could have mixed it better. And so it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I have that. I feel like I'm in a good spot right now with it. So Five Star was such a cool, cool beat. You know what I mean? It sounds so good in terms of quality. You know, now, did you write that down here or where where did you write it? I wrote it in Colorado right after we talked. Wow. Okay. So uh, I wasn't feeling good. As you know, I was a little hungover at the time. I was still drinking. I haven't had it. Um, I haven't drank since mid-August, my birthday. So I've been like just just a conscious choice. That's a different conversation for a different day. But um, it wasn't like I had a problem. It was just. It wasn't beneficial for me and I wasn't enjoying myself being intoxicated. And uh, so I just, you know, and, and I was building this identity. Um, I was building this identity that wasn't really me. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, I'm still that crazy wild human being. I mean, now I don't feel guilty driving home and I can drive home and I can drive everybody. So it's like a win-win, you know, for everybody. But uh, yeah, man. So in Colorado, after we talked, I'm sitting in the hotel and I'm like, wow, this is a really nice lobby. I'm like, okay. You know, I'm feeling kind of nice. They had like the jacuzzi in the, um, in the room. I'm like, wow, this is like a fucking five-star hotel. So, uh, you know, and like the girl that I was with was a fucking smoke show you know but to me she was probably a five i hope she doesn't hear this but whatever you know honesty is honesty <laughs> so i'm sitting there like you know i bang fives i date nines and slay rhymes so i started off with that i'm giggling and i'm like all right seven days in the five star it's great times you know that first bar so oh, yeah. and then it was kind of just running off of it you know I, I didn't even write to the beat i didn't even make the beat yet so it was just I was kind of just bobbing my head to it and it was just acapella the whole way through. Um, and it was a lot of bars too. It just kept going and going. Cause you know, like you said, I do a lot of choruses for a lot of people, you know, whether it's in-house or if I'm doing, you know, features outside, you know, domestically or internationally, it doesn't matter. So I, I'm like, okay, I do a lot of choruses. So I kind of like to step back and really rap and show that I can do it with just not just a quick 16 or do it like 12 bar rep. <laughs> Shout out to rep. <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, so I just kept, you know, I was flowing it and it was coming out so nice and organically. It didn't, it wasn't forced. It wasn't like I was struggling with bars. It was just, you know, some days you, when you're writing, it pours out of you. So it was nice to write it there. Yeah, I did. I wrote it in a hotel for sure. Um, I forget what the hotel was called. I'll look it up and we'll have a side conversation about it, but it was cool. Yeah. Great, great times, man. Um, yeah. So that's why I wrote it. You just released the video for Five Star. Why don't you get what you shot? filmed edited yourself so uh i know there's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a great story behind this so uh yeah yeah i told you um so <laughs> i actually I, it was one of those crazy days man i i called up victor because he's usually the one victor key shout out to victor keys he's usually the one that shoots a lot of our in-house videos and uh you know i always i always want to go in prepared to save time and really shoot some good stuff so like i'm sitting there well not even before that let me back up i was i was going to call victor um but I had a schedule. I had to go to the airport. I had to pick up my grand, uh, not grandmother, her mother, who's like 80 years old. So, you know, I, I was, it was a low key day, sunny out. Um, I'm going through my center console. I've been minimizing lately, throwing shit away, you know, trying to like keep the energy nice and light. So um, I, I'm, I'm fishing through when I find these two capsules and I'm like, oh, okay. They're not pills, but like there's, uh, you know, there's mushrooms inside these clear capsules. And I'm like, oh my God, my brother gave me these things. And I remember him telling me, 
yeah, Kev, these aren't going to do anything. They'll just make you smile. I'm like, oh, okay, great, cool. So I'm just driving. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I just ate both of them. You know what I mean? I was like, this is cool. Nothing. I, I, I'm drinking my coffee. I'm just, it's a typical day at the time. Okay. <laughs> so I, uh, we start, I, I eat those. I'm, I'm chilling. I go, I go to my girl's house. She's uh, laying down, just, you know, I was kind of feeling under the weather that day, I think. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll chill out. And all of a sudden, I started feeling like that stomach ache you get. If, if no one's ever had mushrooms, it usually starts with a stomach ache. And, and then I'm upstairs and I start giggling. And usually when I'm on um, any kind of uh, hallucinogen, I, I like to laugh. I don't know if it's because I'm a happy person or, but man, I'm, I'm fucking dying laughing. Okay. So that I asked her without laughing, I'm like, hey, Saul, can you turn on like those LFX lights downstairs that the lights that change colors? I'm like, yeah, yeah, just put them on, right? And so she did. And I think she hit like wild and then the lights were flickering, right? And I'm like, oh my God. So I'm laying down on the bed and I'm getting real comfortable. I'm like, oh, this is, you know, this is, this is nice, right? Um, long story short for this part, I ended up masturbating and it was a fucking, it was like the best feeling on the planet. I'm like sitting there like tripping on mushrooms, just had an orgasm. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like I'm dying laughing by myself, trying to be quiet. And I'm like, holy shit. So now I'm like, I'm feeling good. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I'm in a five-star hotel. And that's when it clicks. I'm like, oh shit. So I put the song on, right? Because I'm fucking tripping. I'm like, oh, I gotta hear it now. You know, you, when your mind's set on something, you gotta, you gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. So I put the song on, um, and I'm like, oh my god. And I, I put my phone on, and I was gonna do like a storyline on Instagram or something stupid like that. But I'm like, whoa, these lights are great. Like to me, it was like the coolest thing on the planet. It might not even be, but at the time, I'm like, this is, I'm on cloud nine. Everything's clean. The lights are going. So that's how it started. I literally pressed play, played the song. And I wrapped it um, on, a, on an iPhone uh, 12 Pro, 60 frames per minute, uh, HD, not the, you can either do HD or 4K. 4K. Yeah, yeah. Yes, correct. Now, I had so many questions. I'm like, I still haven't even called Victor. So now I'm listening to the song. So I'm just putting it up and I'm rapping five star, just like this, turning it, like just, yeah, yeah. Just, just like, oh, you know what I mean? Like just experimenting. And then the, I, I sat back and I watched it and I'm fucking dying laughing. Like all of a sudden, uh, my alarm goes off and I had to rush to the airport. I forgot. So now I had to go pick up the mom. So now I'm at Logan. I jump out of the vehicle. A cop goes behind me. She's getting wheelchaired over and I'm like, oh, I can't like I'm stuck in between a rock and a hot place. I'm like, do I run to the car and save the vehicle or do I stay there? Because So now she's, you know, waving to me and I'm like, shit, I'm like her bag is going around the, 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 the baggage claim thing. I'm like, oh, my God, this is a nightmare. Like the bus is laying on the horn. I'm tripping balls. So I'm in tears laughing. You know what I mean? People are calling me. It was just a funny fucking day, brother. Um, but that's how five star the video happened. It was just a day of hallucinogenic vibes with flickering colorful lights and just me being a fucking total dork. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was I'm, such a I'm almost sure there's no other stories like that uh, that's uh, taken place on this podcast. So uh, that's certainly the first for sure. So maybe, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it was it, it's nothing like it's nothing to be taken lightly it's something like uh you know i don't like i don't take drugs i don't abuse anything like that it's something that i'm looking into it's like i heard like micro dosing and trying to kind of get in touch with your spiritual self is something that i'm trying to experiment with i just didn't realize the amount that i took so i might have <laughs> overdone it a little bit by accident <laughs> we all do it with alcohol we all do it with weed we all do it with any kind of drug that you take i don't judge whatever your vice or whatever your happiness is, you should do it. But yeah. Um, yeah, man, it was just, yeah, <laughs> it was just an experiment. And uh, yeah, man, that's, you know, like I, I find myself every time um, I'm in a place like that, I do get creative. And I think it's just because I have that creative mind. Uh, I try to see things a little differently as than it's portrayed. You know what I mean? Like, so I just, I, I don't know. I saw an opportunity to pick up a phone and work. You know, I was just in the mood and the timing was right. So, you know, like shoot your shot and get it done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. 
I was reading something recently. It said uh, there's no such thing as good drugs and bad drugs. There's just drugs that react to when you take them and how you take them. And certainly you can ab ab abuse drugs. I, be I believe that, but. Sure. Um, sure, everything in moderation, really. Yeah, you can yeah. abuse anything, you know what I mean? You can abuse- Bear created heroin and heroin was used in the early 19th, uh, 20th century, the Halloween, 19th century, uh, <laughs> early 1900s, uh, Bear was- Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, man. We still uh, use liquid uh, cocaine sometimes, uh, you know. And, keep that uh, away from me. <laughs> but uh, all right, let's. Uh, we're going to give the audience a little clip of um, Five Star. Uh, we're going to play the video for them. So if you're listening to this podcast, definitely click on the links and check out the video. Written, produced, filmed, edited by Core. So Damn right. Now that now that you know the story. Uh, here it is. This is five star. Yeah. God damn, it's a beautiful night. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna rock out to this one real quick. Let's just vibe with it. Yeah. I bang fives, I date nines, I slay rhymes. Seven nights in a five star, it's great times. The grind's 24 7, I'm like some great minds. I'll keep growing, eventually I'll be flowing on the microphone or in your cup. Spit a rhyme and sip it up, I'll show you that I'm sick enough. I know you fake the jig is up, so listen up. Everything I'm hearing from your mouth doesn't mean a single thing. No attention without some clout, they don't know you. They don't care about the issue you speak about. Somebody call a plumber to fix the shit that is leaking out the east. We get it cracking out west. I see him tweaking out. Remember when Pac and Biggie had America geeking? out i don't know where i'm going diana ross i'm back and forth so much you'd be thinking that i was lost but i'm working i got five minutes i'm in the hotel jerking murdering sets earning respect is my purpose make the ground shake i know the feeling like i'm nervous so that was just a clip of five star uh is this available for download yet it will be. It will be. Like I said, I uh, I kind of just threw it out there and people kind of grabbed it, you know, and I didn't have time to, you know what I mean, do it properly because like I said, I was a little bit under the weather or I was beside the weather looking at the weather. <laughs> but, uh, however you want to see that, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you were up in the clouds. Yeah. Yeah, man, you're going to find this on the new album I'm coming out. Um, I, I already have all the tracks done. At, I, at this point, I might call it Core Features <laughs> just to have fun with it, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not. The reason why it's called Core Features is because I'm not the kind of person that likes to have features, to be honest with you. I kind of like to do my own art by myself. I don't know if it's, it could, it could, some people could perceive it as being selfish or it's just something that I, I prefer. It's, it's, a, it's a nice comic thing for me. So like, I reached out to a lot of people who I really admire uh, in music. Uh, and when I say admire, like I, I think that they're in a good place musically. And I, I feel like they, they have a good vision. They're talented. I, I like the way they do things. So if I'm reaching out to you for a feature, um, you should take it as a good thing because if I'm, you know, if I'm not asking you to do a feature, then it doesn't mean you're trash. It just doesn't mean like it's uh, like, what's the word I'm looking for? um it, it's just maybe it's just not the time or something it's just not my style maybe not um not or not my just energy wave really honestly i look for frequencies with beats like I, when i make a beat i'm like oh my god who's gonna sound good on this sure. sometimes like most of the time i'm like rev you know rev sounds good on all my fucking beats so it's like rev you know so rev will be on the album i got the teb coming on the album oblivious nice. uh this five star was just a solo project but yeah you're gonna find it on all streaming platforms when the time comes Hopefully by uh, late February to early March. That's that's the uh, that's the goal. So awesome! All right, uh, let everybody know where they can find more of the courage. At Core VMS on Instagram, uh, we got YouTube, we got Spotify, we got iTunes Music, we got Audio Mac, we got SoundCloud. Uh, there's probably a few others that I've signed up for, but I just can't seem to name them at the moment. So, but yeah, uh, look for Core VMS on all platforms. That's 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 the uh, that's the cheat code. Yeah, and uh, go check out Five Star as well as Curriculum. And uh, a lot of the other uh, great space heaters. Yeah, you're gonna have you know grill igniters is coming. Uh, wave runners. I got all kinds of crazy shit that I just not worried was pushed way in the back burners because I want to be on. 
I want to see how this, uh, I'll call this experiment, quote unquote experiment works out with not worry. But yeah, I got some pretty cool ideas. I want to get a lot of live instruments for that. So awesome. that's the, uh, yeah, that's the goal. So yeah, man. All right. Well, uh, I appreciate you stopping by again today. Uh, I'm, I'm sure this is going to be a, a, a great episode. I already know, uh, I already know it. So uh, appreciate your time, my man. And uh, we'll uh, we'll catch up again soon. I know it. Sounds like a fucking great time. Thank you, Saya. Thank you, Saya. All right, peace, brother. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Break It Down. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your podcast. If there's a song or video you want us to break down with an artist. Hit us up on social media at Own Lane Music, or hit the artist up directly and mention our show. Maybe we can talk to him. That's it, everyone. Peace out.